Whoa, so it's been a while since I played this. Had something kind of pulling on my bass setup, so I figured it was a it was something nice. <clears throat> Turns out it was something pretty nice. It was uh, a unique rainbow that absolutely obliterated my old record. My old one was nothing. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to get the music. Whoops. Okay, we're back to that. Let's go here. This is going very slowly. But we caught it on this little, uh, dude, that's a big fucking, this is a big rainbow trout. God damn. Uh, I, yeah, it's nice to be playing. I haven't played this in a while. It looks a lot smoother. Um, and it was already pretty damn smooth, but. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice rainbow. Um. We, uh, yeah. We're gonna do some trout fishing today. I think. We might jump around a little bit, you know, this is just where we're starting at. We're just fishing over here. We caught a nice little four pound brown, same spot before that one. So we're gonna keep doing this. Um, I've never fished, a lot of these lakes I've not fished with the boat. I've only had the boat and fished uh, like, oh, another one. Uh, what's it What's it called? I can't think of what it's called. Oh, let's jump in little guy. These are all decent fish. Like, like I'll take them. I don't know what the XP is like for the trout, but a um, little rainbow, two three pounds, I guess. A oh, four. Damn, that's another thing. This is a bass setup, so if anything pulls on this at all, it's gonna be a decent. This could be a good fish. I'm going for like an eight or nine pound brown. That is the plan. That's what the goal is. I should say, not the plan. Hope everybody's staying clean. You know. Uh, I work at Fred Meyer or Kroger for you on the East Coast, the Midwest. Um, so we're still working, getting shit, you know. We're still working a lot. Ooh, another one. It's another rainbow. Um, but yeah, you know. It's been crazy. And I have been working more, more hours because of it. Well, that's a brown. I think. I'm gonna check the. Oh! I got trout eggs and I'm ready to hunt for the rainbow outlaw monster. Oh, alright. I'm gonna check the shop real quick, see if they've updated this at all. Cause. Yeah, um, it's been a while. Boss Gamer, what it do, baby? Alright. Whoops. How do we navigate? Ah, here we go. Jerk baits and minnows? What is this game? Oh wow, these are pretty these are deep ones, but they're they're small. Damn. I wish I could get one of these puppies right here. I probably have them at the house, but anyways, we're gonna keep fishing the Oh. Oh, okay. Well, a little quick move. We're gonna keep fishing this shit. This is gonna be damn interesting. Um I know they've I, last time I played they had just added like Carolina rigs and a bunch of stuff. And, uh, yeah, I didn't really get a chance to do much with him. Oh, I just got a hit right there. I'm going to keep him swimming. Maybe pop it a little bit. Or increase the speed a tad just for a sec at a time. Oh, man. So they're hitting this thing. They like this at 12 feet. Oh, I just got another bump. 75 feet. It's crazy, the last like six, seven months I was working all these 4 a.m. shifts, and now I'm working all these 3 p.m. shifts, and it kind of sucks. All right, let's get this thing in and throw it right back over there. Um, I might have to travel home and then travel back here and get a couple of my other baits because I have some deeper divers. Um, oh, I have those runners too. I don't know if they'll chase them. They might because they are kind of... I mean, they, they're divers. They're, they're hard plastic diving baits, so they should work similarly. Uh, I'll get on a purple one. 
Oh, uh, this is going to be my gamer tech. Oh, blah. We're actually about to get recreational fishing open back up in my state. My gamer tag is Bud Ferguson. Whoa, he's gonna get off. Oh wow. I don't know why I'm throwing my bass rig. I don't know why these things are biting. I have braided line on here. Yeah, let's let's set up the actual trout. This one. This is my trout setup. You know what I should do? Okay, I'm gonna go home real quick. I'm going to buy a brand new trout rig. We're gonna get it all set up. And then we're going to come back here and go down on it. Shit's going to go down. Um, I'm going to grab my other hard plastics. The deeper ones. We might buy a whole new setup. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let's go over here. Uh, what am I doing? Not paying attention. So, the jig winner. This is the one. No, I don't have the six. What could I use? Which one could I? This is the one that I have. This the eight ten. It's three to thirteen. I want one a little more powerful. A seven ten. But you don't really need more than that. I think this one has ten pound line on it. I'm double check this. That is 12 pound line. Okay, that's okay then. That is totally okay. It's monofilament. Um, let's go to these swims. Oh, they're really big ones. Like, they're all. Three out's not too big. You know, we can, we'll grab one of these. Oh, my backpack's full? Jesus Christ. Um. What else do I need? Um, get rid of that one. I don't need all these spinners. I don't really use them. Get rid of the big fatty. Um, let's, uh, shit, yeah, let's try this. I don't know. This can only hold up to a 5 8 So, yeah, we should get a heavier rod so we can throw heavier because these are all oh well these are five eighths six seven yeah i'm gonna get a little bit of a stronger rod real quick i need to we have this puppy the whole thor series is really heavy wow all these are super heavy i don't need these super Oh, that thing's really cool. That's a really cool rod, but I don't need it for anything. Um, which one do I have? The which river text do I have? What? Hold on. What is my? Now I'm confused. Oh, it's this one. It's the forty-six pound. Okay. What the hell are we gonna get? I need something that I can throw a little bit heavier of a... I could just get this one. It's a 9.6. I can throw much heavier shit on it. Seven ten. Let's see if I have anything at home first that's similar to that. It's definitely not going to be a feather light. Oh, this is... Uh, these are all pretty fucking heavy, man. This is the closest thing I have to what I would want. So, yeah, we're going to buy a new one. 8-2. We're going to have to buy one of these... Uh, this one. Nine six, definitely. We're taking her out. Dora. Now. Twelve. 
12 and a half max drag. And then I'm gonna put on some 12 pound line if I have any. Do I have any 12 pound fluorocarbon? Oh, let's do 15 pound fluorocarbon. Oh no, it's 12 and a half, so 12 is what we need. Okay. F fluorocarbon's more invisible, right? I've never really fucked with fluorocarbon lines, so I'm not 100% sure. We do have some, some 12 pound though. Oh, we can put a lot of this on here. Should we buy some new line? Might as well. We'll get some fluorocarbon. Ooh, that took a minute. Okay. They don't have any bigger... I can only get 500 yards of it. Unless I buy that, so I'll just do this. Hmm. -mm. Where I need to free up some space now too. Usually, if I have any like fucked up shit in here, I'll just sell it right off the bat. Just boom, boom. Actually, and. can't even put it on. Yeah, so I have to... We don't really have any repeats either. These two. Do that. There we go. We got enough room now. Whoa, we have a bunch of leaders that we do not need. Um. Oh, but those are items. Those aren't part of the line count. Okay, that's really weird. <sighs> okay, well. There we go. And now I can put on some much heavier shit. Like if I want to get that deep diver, like this boy right here. Alright, let's go give it a test. We're going right back to Falcon. And I don't know what's going to happen, boy. I see videos of people using pole holders on boats, and I have no idea what that's about. So if anybody knows anything about that, let, them, let me know, because that would be, be super cool. God, it's so early, and I have today off. I don't know what I'm going to do, and we're not allowed to go fishing because of the state order, the stay-at-home order. So I work, and then I come home, and I sit down, and it's super boring and fun, but boring. <clears throat> We're definitely going to throw this new rig. It's a 15 pound. So it is a little weaker than that last one. A little stronger than the jig winner. So this should actually be a real nice medium. Um, I know it's barely strong. I keep thinking it's a 15 pound. This one's a 12. 12 pound. So it'll be nice. Ooh, it sounds nice. Let's get the motor going. We're just going to cruise right back out to where we were. What's up, boys? Um, we were right up at this. We'll just start a little early. Will you be playing later? I don't know, man. Maybe. I might be out doing something. I have no idea, to be honest. We will have to wait and see. But in the meantime, ooh, actually, oh boy, it's real shallow over there. 
Um, oh, I snagged something. Can I send you something in the game? What do you mean? Like an object? I don't think so. What do we get? Bark? Jesus. So this might be a little deep diver for this. Um, what do we got? We'll go up to 10 o'clock. I don't think you can send stuff. If you can, I never knew you could do that. Whoa. So this one sinks. It's definitely... There we go. So at 100 feet. So this one we're just going to have to be diving. No, I'm going to throw that... Uh, that silver crankbait back on. Because that thing was actually giving me some pretty good hits. In the menu. In the menu. I'm not following. Sixteen feet might be not be too bad. This is gonna be another deep. Ah, uh, shit. This will be interesting. This one's all floating though. This one's all wood, so this one will we'll not start diving until there we go. And it's pretty. It gets pretty deep, pretty good. Okay, never mind. Sixteen feet. We're dragging. So it's looking like that. And we got something else on there. Yeah, we gotta put that three. We gotta put that twelve footer on. Sixteen's too deep. <sighs> Unless we like cast out into the middle or something. I could try. I'll send one over this way and just see if anything comes of it. I'll cast towards that point with the sixteen footer. We'll see what happens. Oh, just sander. Oh, that's all right, it's probably gonna do the same thing because it's right off of that point. I don't know though, it opens up. Hey, we got a little bit of room. Dude, if I could send people stuff, I would probably send people stuff. That'd be fun. We got to hit right there between 75 and 80 feet on the 16 footer. So that 19 foot runner might be good out here, actually. Um, let's see. Because it's a lot deeper out here. I don't do the trout usually, so this is definitely new for me. This is a hunch runner. I don't know if this one's a floating bait or a sinking bait. Oh, it's a floater. And she's diving quick. And, ooh, it's right on the bottom. I like that. And it's getting deep. We're over the hole. Where the monster lies. I gotta take that. Oh, we just gotta hit again around the same spot. And around a similar depth. Oh. It's coming up. It's probably a rainbow. Oh, it's got to be a rainbow. It's coming up that much. Or maybe like a... Oh, yeah. It's a red band. Dude. Two uniques. One at the very beginning of this stream was the first thing I caught that made me decide to stream a little bit. 
We actually have red band trout in uh, my city's local river. Okay, I need to take that off of there. I'll put on, I don't know, I'll put on this guy for now. And then this puppy, no, nope, this puppy is going to get the 12 footer because this is the one that was banging out everything before I moved. Um, now let's see, is this going to cast it a mile? Damn, dude. I'm going to back this thing up a little bit. That works. That'll work. Now we should be able to cast right at that wood pile and not have to worry about hitting the bank. Beautiful. 12 footer, it's gonna come down right over the lip and then out over the open. This is a nice line, actually. If it keeps catching them as much as we were catching them uh, at the beginning, then this is gonna be a real nice line. Oh, we got a smackle. A schmell. Bailey, what are you doing? You coming to lay up here? You coming up? Come on. You goof. Oh. We caught one like right at the boat damn near. Little, what is that? Oh, it's a little small mouth. <laughs> I almost want to release it. Now another thing actually that I do want to try that I used to basically do from this bank spot over here. I'd fish this whole coastline. So I'm just gonna back into here. Just like so. Uh, mm, fuck. I'm, I hate how it turns off your engine every time you set the lure down. Okay, so I'm going to go like this. Right there. Right up on the wood part. Right up on the wood pile. We should have this whole, yep, we got this whole bank line to throw down. And I know this drops, oh, Bailey, hold on, where's my, Bailey, are you sitting? No, you're not, you're good. All right, so let's see if we just keep it along the, oh, dude. This might be the, sp the line for the Browns. I don't know if they're gonna bite the crankbait as much, but this, line from the bank is all I used to throw when I opened this lo this lake and I used to catch so many browns with the purple and gold spoon narrow spoon we'll try that after we do this crankbait for a little bit but for starters we gotta rock the crankbait it's my favorite way to fish in real life I love it mm, had one around 65-70 Another one. They are down there. Whoa, boy. Oh, wow. I might, I might move my nose out a little bit because we're clearly on a, on an invisible barrier. So I'm gonna have to back out. And we're gonna have to just go past that wood pile a little bit. Like right here. Oh, dude. This would be great. <clears throat> Rod's clear. Full send. See if we hit the rocks. Nope. And then we'll bring it over here. And we will just drag it right along the bank. Because the reason I have that buoy there is because that is where 
the drop off is this is like a, a ledge right here i'll show you on the tablet after this cast but it's like a ledge and that's where you're like you'll see because once this gets down to depth it stays there so over on the right oh something smacked the shit out of it it's coming up too oh oh he didn't come up all the way what this might be a decent brown This might be a good fish, guys. It looks like a brown. I have my drag up pretty high, too. And this is 12-pound line. This is going to be a good fish. And that looked like a brown. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. On the fucking crankbait. He's coming up. Oh, yeah. That's a brown. I bet it's going to be... Shit. And I haven't, I haven't fought the trout in a while on this game, so I'm not sure. Oh my god, this thing's running. This is going to be a good-sized fish. I should have kept my <laughs> fucking bass set up. We got a little fight on our hands here. Look at this thing running. This might be a tank. This might be an eight-pounder. Don't freeze on me or anything. He's running back into the rocks. Pull him out. Damn, dude. We got a big girl on here, or boy. He's gonna run again. Nope, he's coming up, maybe. Yeah, he came up again. Damn, I was trying to keep him out of the water that time. Keep him out, keep him out. Yep, he's up top. We got him. Watch it not even be a big one. 724, that's a good, so damn, if we get onto a monster, we're gonna have some trouble. <sighs> okay, well, what that tells me is that we might want to get a bigger reel on here and some bigger and some maybe some 15 pound line because because if that was only a seven pound trout what the fuck is an eight or nine pound gonna be like I'm getting a lot of action on this silver crankbait. It's a 2 aught, so it's not gigantic, uh, the hook size, but damn. Man, I thought that thing was going to be a lot bigger than that. Still a good-sized fish, and it wasn't impossible to get it in. Like, we got it in. Still a little fight. Um, yeah, that was sweet. They still haven't fixed it. Oh, right at the boat. He's, like, he's jumping at us with a little rainbow. Yeah. You spend me? I still don't know how to spend, so what we got? I got some popping up below. Oh! That one hit, like, instantly. It came up. It looked like it actually kind of came up out of the water entirely. I'm guessing this is going to be a pretty small rainbow trout. Or a, a maybe a little small mouth. No, that looks like a little trout. A little two-pounder. A little two-pound banger. Real quick. Ooh, I like that one. Or even up over the lip. Oh, we're over a hole out there. Oh, and then it just got really shallow. Now we're snagged up. Damn it. We might lose this crankbait. Oh, we got it out. Beautiful. And it's still swimming. We didn't get it. We got it out of the snag with nothing on it. And it got hit. <coughs> oh, wow. That was crazy. It got hit and then, like, slammed into the bottom of the water like it was stuck. That was crazy. We got another little rainbow on it, it looks like. Ooh, might even be something smaller. I forget all the species we have here. Huh? It was actually bigger. We'll leave it out a little bit. She 
shit. Man, I'll tell you, I want to... The day that we eventually get to a thousand subs, I'm going to do like a full day long stream at the lake where I just fish and drink. It's going to be a lot of fun. Man, we got one hit initially, and now it kind of slowed down. We can also try the spinners. Oh, we just got a hit right at the boat. Let's try. Uh, let's try some metal. I'll start with the classic that always used to do the best for me at this lake. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this too far down here. Oh yeah, very short cast with this rod. That's kind of sad, but um, if it works well, we shouldn't need much room. I'm just gonna let it fall to the bottom, and then we're just gonna kind of pop it along, and see if the old, the classic, works still. Oh, we had one on there instantly. <laughs> there we go. Whoa, he came up real quick. Oh, sh this one might be, it's a little better. He's in, oh, it's a brown. Still a decent one, but okay. So the brown killer still catches the browns. Bass comp at the Everglades. Though I haven't tried any of those. Let's check that out real quick. Let's just see what these sponsored competitions and tournaments are like. Like, can we use everything at our disposal? Is it just like a bass tournament? Like, top five biggest bass, use what you want? Because if that's the case... Custom competitions filters Everglades okay start time is at 1 p.m. Total fish length, total weight for bass, $1,100. Those are all the types, oh, so you can use pretty much everything. Not equipped. So, oh, let's equip one real quick and see if that changes. Let's get a top water on, like a frog popper, because that's definitely what I'm going to use. Okay, now I have top water equipped. Okay. Dude, we're applying for this. Oh, it's teams? This is crazy. Starts in an hour and 24 minutes. Okay. So, guys, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to ready up, and we're going to see what happens. It starts in an hour 24 so this will be really cool to see actually. I'm going to take this leader off of here. I'm going to take this leader off of here as well. Oh, 
to put these tails on here. Dude, this is so cool. Okay. And this one, we're going to put... We need to have a jig on one of them. Start with the classic color that always works. And we can put creature baits on these now, which is awesome. So I'm going to put a craw on this. And this is going to be sick. All right. I'm excited for this. This is going to be a lot of fun. Um, so I'm going to go there, start practicing with these new baits. Presently held. Signed in. I'm ready to go. Oh, this is happening right now. Oh, man. 11 a.m. It started, started 30 minutes ago. That's a bummer, Bailey. That's a bummer, Bailey. That's a bummer, Bailey. Oh. Okay. Whoops. All right. Well, yeah, we're going to. And start getting used to it. I don't know if they've added bigger fish to this this area or not. I used to have a 13 and a half pounder here, I think. start with my go-to which is that topwater popper that frog popper that's what I caught him on I think it was on the yellow one but uh, yeah oh it looks pretty here I don't know what he's fishing for um, we're gonna go to the spot that I caught this fish on Oh, buzz bait. You know what? Let's give the buzz bait a try. I've not tried it here. I've not tried it on bass. I think you have to throw it on about a two speed, otherwise. Oh no, you can throw it on a one easy. Let it sink a little bit. Bring it right back through the shallow. And you can do it as a top water. Because it just causes some commotion up top. It would be really cool if we caught some on top water with buzz bait. Let it sink a bit. Alright, we'll just start bringing it up. I'm really... Yeah, I'm going to get... Oh! Just like that. Oi! Hey, buddy. Is this a decent fish? It looks like a decent one. That's a decent... That's a nice bass, dude. First one. A seven and a half pounder. On the buzz bait. Oh my god. Alright. First cast. Learning how to use the buzz bait. I've only thrown this a couple other times. Um, wow. We're going to let it sink. And then we're just going to bring it up slowly through the water. Um, I guess this is how, I mean, oh, what does he have? That's a bigger, is that a gar? Uh, whoops. I don't know what that is. It is a gar. Oh, well, we just got another little guy. Oh, little guy. Little one, we'll keep him for now. All right, now we gotta. I gotta just try the top water. That first cast with that buzz bait and that big one, that was pretty unbelievable. So the sun's down, so we're not gonna use the yellow one. We're gonna use the red. 
and I'm gonna just do my classic way and see if it still works. Just constant pulling, pop it every like couple. Okay, well, it got a bite pretty quick, but uh, the size of it, I don't think it's gonna be too spectacular. Still though, it attracts fish. Decent one. It's, it's gonna be better than the last one. I guess like three and a half. Okay, five seven. Much better than I was expecting. I think I said there's an hour of scoring time, so we're gonna need to see. Or I'm probably gonna be using the top water the whole time. That's usually when I catch my biggest fish. And it's always this technique. And I like to keep them like. A lot of people are like, don't you want to, don't you have to have the three star technique to get the most fish? And I'm like, I don't know, maybe, oh, he came up and smacked it. Did you see that? This one feels decent. Again, we aren't a 20 pound braid set. Oh, he's swimming right at me. I still think it's a decent fish. He's just been very helpful in this retrieval process. Oh, it's a bowfin. That's why it was being so weird. <laughs> so in that tournament, that guy's getting tossed right back into the water. And we're continuing. That starts at 1 o'clock. It is 11.42. So I got an hour 18 for that tournament. I'm going to fish this for a little bit just to... Ooh. Not a big one. But it hit again. Don't get in those weeds, buddy. Now again, it's hard to tell sometimes how big these fish are because some of these setups I have are pretty beefy. I took off the leaders. I had a steel line leaders on just so um, just so I didn't have to worry about like snapping my shit and. I took that off and just switched these all back to like traditional bass rigs, like in the sense that I do it, like just bat, just braided line and lure. Um, I do have one set up for when I'm just like going camping or something or doing a lot of high volume fishing and I'm kind of just trying to locate fish. I will use a swivel. Oh, oh damn, he smacked the shit out of it too. He was hungry. He might, he can come back. There he is. Little guy, three four, three seven five. Man, God, I forget how much I love this game. I could just sit here and play this all day, which I might end up doing. It's only eleven forty-five. Hey. This one felt different at first, but a lot of these bass will just fucking slam it, and then you get them to the dock, and they're like four pounds, three pounds. It's like, oh shit, that thing felt like a monster. This one's not even really acting like a bass. It hit it like a bass, though. Oh, that didn't. Yep, it's a bowfin. See what I'm saying? You can never tell. Fuck. Alright, well. After this cast, I'm going to hop off, and I'll, if I remember, I'll stream that tournament, because that would be pretty fun. It would be fun to see how obliterated I get, and how out of touch I am with this game. Because I haven't done anything on this game in quite a while. Oh, nope. Mm. Boy, I'll tell you. There's something on it. Ah! That looked like another bow fin coming up. It is. Fuck. 
Alright. I'm doing it. I'm doing it.